class 10th welcome back to another video of economics class 10th so far we have discussed the meaning of inflation chapter number 20 inflation in that we have discussed meaning of inflation that what does inflation mean inflation is a situation where the prices of the commodities or certain commodities present in the market rises slowly and steadily means there is a continuous persistent rise in the price and this situation is known as inflation right we have discussed in the previous video then we discuss types of inflation in which we have discussed about creeping inflation walking or trotting inflation running inflation hyperinflation open inflation and suppressed inflation suppressed inflation we are not going to do because um, we will not focus on this suppressed inflation now children there are two types of infl inflation like major categories of two types of inflation is um, demand pull inflation and cost push inflation that I haven't written over here because I am going to explain you the meaning of demand pull inflation first okay so demand pull inflation children you know that in economics we have two major factors on which economy is based right two major factors on which economy is based our economy is based and that is first is our demand and then we have is supply right first is our demand and then we have is supply the demand curve basically is a downward sloping curve which is this right it goes like this and the supply curve is an upward sloping curve which is this all right so these are two types of curves and these are these are two factors these are two major basic factors on which our economy is wholly and solely based upon. The D is derived as demand and S is for our supply. Demand has generally downward sloping curve which is from right which is from left to right and S is an upward sloping curve which, which is from generally right to which is from generally right to left or which is from down to up right demand pull inflation demand you know the meaning of demand pull means to pull something to pull something means to pull something towards you right to grab something and pull towards you so demand pull inflation means inflation which is caused due to factors which are dependent upon the demand all right the factors which are dependent upon the demand and because of which inflation happens are the factors demand pull inflation for right that the factors and um, demand pull inflation is generally an um, we say we can say that it is a generally original situation because this happens in the economy this happens in the market so let us read the meaning demand pull inflation occurs when the demand for goods and services exceeds the supply available at existing price that is when there is excess demand in the market over the supply present in the market are you getting it example we have this curve okay this is your ox axis and this is your oy axis now this is your demand curve and this is your supply curve right now supply you have for a certain product you have supply which is supposedly this right supposedly this this is your uh, one point and this is your second point this is the supply means over this supply over this you cannot 
supply the commodity or the product in the market right but there are factors which are happening which are taking place okay and the demand these are the factors which are happening in the market and because of that there is an increase in the demand supply over here at this point at this point the demand and the supply are equal at this point the demand and supply are equal right but this increase in the demand leads to increase in the prices and this that situation is known as inflation all right this is your supply this is your supposingly this is your supply and this is your demand right this point supply and demand meets each other and this is the saturation point saturation point means the point which is uh, the, the maximum point maximum point means that over here the supply and the demand are at its maximum right beyond this point the demand is increasing and which is giving a birth to inflation because supply is fixed and the demand is excess there is over demand uh, sorry there is the demand is over the supply over the supply means that the demand is more than the supply actually available in the market and this creates an inflation situation right aggregate demand refers to the total demand for goods and services in the economy you know that aggregate demand which is also uh, a g okay which is also known as a g in the Uh, ninth class in the previous class we have uh, discussed about this ag aggregate demand this is the total demand okay this is the total demand now total demand may increase due to increase in the consumption expenditure now what can happen that the demand can increase which is increasing over here right this is 1 this is 2 3 4 5 this is increasing this is increasing because the consumption is increasing the demand is increasing because the consumption is, is increasing i want you want everybody want chocolates and therefore the demand for chocolates is increasing right because everyone is consuming it an increase in investment expenditure or government expenditure or increase in money supply these are the other factors now through any source if the aggregate demand rises rapidly and exceeds the economy's production price will begin to rise more and more rapidly the demand for money will beat the limited supply of commodities and will bid up the prices bid up the prices means over here if somebody is a uh, if somebody is giving 100 rupees for a 20 rupees thing there will be bidders bidders means that i also want i also want and i also want right anybody will be ready to pay any price for that limited commodity because the demand is more but the supply is less so there will be bidding in the market now excess demand which exceeds the supply available at the existing prices will pull up the prices we will pull up the price level and will lead to the emergence of inflation now when aggregate demand exceeds aggregate supply at full employment level the gap between these two that is ad and as this gap is technically known as inflationary gap i repeat that when the demand and supply are crossing each other means the demand and supply this you can see this gap just make it more clear for you see over here over here at this point the demand and supply are at its maximum are at its fullest point but if there is an increase in the demand okay this gap right this gap between the demand and the supply is generally known as inflationary gap all right now there are causes of demand pull inflation what are the causes first is increase in public expenditure public expenditure means that when the government starts expending much okay when the in, there is uh, increase in the government expenditure and when the public expenditure increases the government fails to mobilize sufficient funds to meet its expenditure then we have is increase in income if people income increases their 
purchasing power increases and you cannot curb their purchasing power why because they have money now they have money they can spend and they are willing to spend more on the products on the commodities decreasing taxes if the government decrease the amount of taxes which is not generally there okay which is generally not there the amount of the taxes are generally increased and not been decreased but in case the taxes decreases the purchasing power increases their willingness to uh, purchase something increases and thus leads to inflation then we have this increase in population it is another major cause for rise in prices because increase in population it refers to increased demand of consumer goods which puts more pressure on existing supply of goods and services thus resulting in inflation increase in export demand expansion in foreign demand and consequent expansion in exports will raise the incomes of the poor people right this will push up the demand for goods and services with the country i repeat expansion in foreign demand and consequent expansion in export will raise the income of the poor people okay and this will push up demand for goods and services within the country high rate of investment the heavy investment made by the government as well as private industries have resulted in continuous increase in the prices of capital goods and other items of production when we have is increase in supply of money and change in the real income we will not do this right then we have is next cost push inflation cost push inflation now another explanation of inflation in terms of forces operating from the other supply side or the cost side it is um also known as supply or cost theory of inflation uh, popularly known as cost push inflation now what happens in this cost pushes that cost push inflation refers to inflationary rise in the prices due to increase in cost increase in cost is your when there is an increase in the cost of production there is increase in the cost of the commodity or the product and where there is increase in the cost of production increase in the commodity increase in the cost of the commodity or the product therefore it generally rises its prices which leads to inflation okay you know what is the meaning of cost of production so i am not explaining you uh, over here i am not explaining the uh, cost of production so when there is increase in the cost of production it means increases in the cost of the product when there is increase in the cost of the product it means that there will be an increase in the prices of that certain commodity or the product when there will be price there will be a rise in the prices of the product that situation is known as inflation that situation is known as cost push inflation cost push means that you are pushing something so the cost of production is actually pushing the prices of the product to increase to shoot up to boom right and which gives birth to cost push inflation all right cost push inflation is caused mainly due to increase in the cost of wages and resulting increases in the prices the primary cause of cost of production is the rise in money wages and access to rise in the productivity of labor one factor which is discussed in this book is wages when the wages increases it means that the cost of the product is increasing because you have to pay more to the laborers you have to pay more for their labor more for their labor right which will increase the cost of the commodity or the product automatically cost push inflation theory is a modern theory of inflation it is also called as new inflation keep this in mind that this is also known as also known as new inflation in two marks question it can be asked that which situation is known as new inflation so cost push situation sorry cost push situation is known as new inflation right 
This type of inflation emerges due to increase in the cost. That's it. Right? This is your definition in two marks. Alright. We do not have any diagrams. We do not have any graphs in this. So do not go for graphs and do not go for diagrams because this book does not give any uh, diagrams. Does not give any graphs. Right? Explanation part is there. So in the five marks question, it can come that differentiate between or explain the meaning of demand pull or cost push. And if it comes in the five marks question that what are the types of inflation that you can and you have to explain these only. Okay, you explain only these. But if it comes in the short question answers that name uh, types of inflation, then you can describe this also and you can describe the other types of inflation also. Right. Then we have as causes of cost push. Fluctuations in output and supply. Public distribution system, PDS, which is the defective working of the public distribution system results in the uneven supply of various goods, which causes inflation. Rise in wages, I have told you that if there are rises in the wages, if there are rises in the prices of the working of the uh, workers and labors, this will increase the cost and that will increase in the prices and um, thus inflation then we have is uh, increase in profit margins when you need to increase the profit margin so you are going to increase the cost also the prices thus situation of inflation then we have is enhanced taxation enhanced means modified either you are decreasing them or you are increasing them then we have is administrative prices no need to do that oil prices hike or rise in the international prices definitely when there are rises in the oil prices there are rises in the cost onions like we had onions onions were like 80 100 why because there was the rise in the cost of production there was rise in the prices of the petroleum there were rises on the oil prices okay which lead to increase in the prices of that certain commodity and there was inflation regarding that particular commodity in the market. Alright, then we have is a little bit we have a distinguished between demand pull and cost push inflation. You can just read that. Okay, just go through, uh, go through that. Effects of inflation. In this we have a certain uh, points you can learn. Like four to five points you can learn. No need to go with all of these. And we are not going to do that. Then... Um, we have anti-inflationary measures. In this um, anti-inflationary measures, uh, children, I am going to provide you certain notes of this anti-inflationary measures. Okay. And this we will be doing in the next video. So, till then, whatsoever I have taught you, whatsoever we have discussed in this video and in the previous video, which are interrelated, and connected to each other i want you to go through all of that and any problem if you have you can uh, mail me and if you have any problem then you can come to the school and you can uh, ask for the solution all right till then take care bye bye